This man is making something a little bit bigger, but it has to do with mobility. It's a truck, a special type of truck. This guy is called Asia Bennett of Clever Motors. And uh, since uh, last Eco Summit, you added another V to your brand. Yes. And more importantly, we added three trucks to yeah. what we, last year we were here with a PowerPoint basically, and we developed our first three trucks. We're proud to say that the UPS truck made its first real world in, in the field delivery last week. So that's a very nice milestone. Um, our first truck is here just outside and I, it's, it'll be here tomorrow. And I really recommend everyone to just walk outside. It's literally outside the, the dining area outside and see our, our truck. Um, we make seven and a half ton electric range extended trucks. What does that mean? So the only thing that turns the wheels is an electric motor. And we have a large battery and we charge the truck at night. So we want you to charge at night and use that cheap electricity. The big issue with electric vehicles is the limited range. And we solve that with what we call a range extender, which is basically a small generator on board that backs up the battery. Um, Without that, we don't think the truck operators will use a truck for more than 30 miles a day, and that's just not enough. We need trucks to be used for 100 miles a day to get the maximum savings on money and the maximum savings on emissions. We want to replace a diesel truck that's di driving dirty for 100 miles, not for 30 miles. That's where we get the real, real uh, savings. Um, another small point is we have all the charging infrastructure on our truck. So all we need is a three-phase wall socket. We don't need all those fancy chargers that are sometimes here and sometimes not. Um, we have quite a large market, a million trucks a year, uh, uh, sold in the world, so it's a big segment. Um, we solve all the issues of, of uh, health and emissions because we choose where to make our little bit of emissions. I'll talk about that in a moment. And even though we have a higher capital cost, we have batteries and range extenders and it's new technology, so it's expensive, Truck operators, unlike car buyers, look at lifetime costs, and we have very, very low maintenance and operating costs. Our fuel cost is, not, is very, very low. It's electricity and a little bit of, uh, of diesel. It's much nicer to drive, so you, know, you have to keep uh, UPS drivers happy. It's uh, basically an automatic, has much more torque. It only needs three hours to charge at night. Quite an easy thing uh, to do. We have a focus on working with large companies, so our first large company we're working with is China's number two, export, number two truck producer and number one exporter of trucks from China. Um, we try to use existing technologies where we can, so we don't want to develop windshield wipers, for example. Um, and we're focused on the seven and a half ton back to base segment, which is a huge segment, and it's growing, by the way, because of e-commerce. Today, we, we buy something, it comes up to our doorstep the next day, that's the segment we are focusing on. We're a fully connected truck, so every piece of information that, you that our truck has, you can see it on an iPad, online, on a cell phone. If you come visit our truck, we'll show you all that information. We take that connectivity to a much higher level. We predict how much energy we need for the whole day, and then we make smart decisions where to use our range extender, because it would be pretty stupid to turn our range extender in the on Oxford Street, which is the dirtiest uh, road in in Europe, basically. So why not plan ahead, turn on the range extender earlier in the day because, uh, and, and remove emissions from the city center just by the power of software. Um, my background, I'm a former submarine officer. This is submarine, uh, basic, the basics of our technology are from submarines. We have Sir Trevor Chin on our team. And Malcolm Powell was basically the chief engineer of Tesla from the very early days till the launch of their first product. Um, route to market, it's a new product, so we want to go more initially on direct sales. UPS is our first customer, we're working on other large customers like that. Um, finance, so we have a slightly higher capital cost, but because everything in the truck world is financed, that can be uh, shortened out by using the normal finance and leasing solutions that are out there. And yes, we will have to give high level of supports to our customers. What we've done today, we, we've executed extremely well. We only got our Series A of one and a half million last year, basically. Um, before that, we got a grant of 800,000 pounds, and we executed everything that we said we would on our Series A business plan. Three trucks driving very well, and <clears throat> we are now raising six million pounds 
Series B that will bring us to start of productions, we have a fabulous solution. I do not need 50 million dollars, pounds, euros to build an assembly line. I already have a deal in China to use it, and we're working on also Western deals as well. Um, we only need to sell a few hundred trucks a year to break even, and if we sell a thousand or two thousand trucks, then the sale numbers are enormous, and that's the good thing about our uh, business. Exit routes would be working with a Chinese partner who we're very close to, who we visit them very often, but any Western company would, who would work with us would save two or three years of coming to market than trying to go at it alone. And believe me, with what Volkswagen did now, everyone aware, is aware of the issues of emissions and diesels and how to get faster to market without them. So, thank you very much, and please visit our truck. It's out there, including tomorrow. Thank you, Asia. Thank you very much.